Uh, a Bayesian game is a list uh, S1, S2, up to Sn. So each Si is basically a set of strategy for player I. <clears throat> so if each player has a discrete or finite strategy, that, then that means Si is a finite strategy set, or it can be an infinite strategy set. So these are strategy sets for each player. And then T1, T2, up to Tn. Uh, well, for example, in the uh, double auction, uh, I'm sorry, a second prize auction example I previously mentioned, so each SI was a zero infinity interval. So T1, T2, up to Tn, so these are the type set for each player I. And in the previous example, in the simplest environment, remember, uh, each buyer could have three potential types. So the, the Ti is, you know, the type set for each player uh, I. <coughs> I'm sorry. And then U1, U2, up to UN, these are the payoff vectors. Uh, I'm sorry, payoff functions. Um, well, obviously, the payoff function depends on, not only on player I's uh, strategy, but it also depends on all the other players' strategy. And here, uh, those strategies are not uh, sort of discriminated for types, because I write those strategies as function, which I will describe in a moment. And the payoff also depends on the type of player I. Right? The different types may have different payoffs. So in the previous example, again, if you are the buyer with uh, valuation 110, your, different, your, your uh, payoff function was, is different than if you are a buyer with type valuation 90, because the, that buyer's valuation is 90 minus uh, price, not 110 minus price. All right, so the different types actually has different payoffs, which basically derives different optimal strategies for different types. All right, so one more additional thing, which is not uh, described here, is the, P, the, the probability, the player's belief about other types. All right, so we denote it by pi, it's a conditional probability, t sub minus i, which means the type of all the other players except player i, conditional on uh, player i's type. Well, this notation allows correlated types. So maybe your type and the other guy's types are correlated, which is very well possible. For example, maybe, uh, so if it is, for example, a, a, a football game, um, all right, and so the types can be uh, determined whether uh, the, the, the weather is rainy or snowy or, or shining, or maybe the sun is shining. So therefore, if this is the case, if this is how the types are determined, well, then maybe your type and your opponent's type may be correlated, depending on the weather. You see what I mean? So this notation allows correlation in that sense. So if, for example, this probability is equal to uh, the multiplication of the individual uh, types probabilities, P, J, T, J, J is different than I. If this is the case, well, that means independent types. Remember, if two probability of A given B, for example, uh, so if this is uh, equal to probability of A, well, then we say that, you know, A and B are independent types. This is exactly what's happening here, all right? Um, okay, so... What else? Um, I already mentioned the payoff function for player i. It depends on the strategies of all the players because that is the essence of a strategic environment. And it also depends on the type of player i. Well, here, uh, what if the, uh, the player i's other types, uh, can they affect my payoff? Well, maybe, yes, but we usually ignore this correlation because um, it complicates the game. So here, the strategy is important, is a function, S-I-T-I, which specifies what strategy player I would pick if he is type T-I. So therefore, a strategy, you can think of strategy of player I as a function which maps each T-I to some strategy in the set of strategies S-I. All right. Again, in my previous example, I said it is B1, 1, B1, 2, B1, 3. All right. So basically, this is what B1 type I is. So if 
if for example b1 type 1 so if, if you're type 1 your bid is going to be b11 this is how i denoted it so they're not equal i'm sorry for my notational uh, mix up um, so b1 t2 is equal to b12 b1 t3 is equal to b13 all right so this is just another way of notating the strategy of player one as a triple all right you can just represent it as a function uh, all right so you can either write b1 parenthesis t1 t2 t3 or b11 b12 b13 this is totally up to you. I mean, you'll see in some examples, I'm going to use those notations. In some other, I'm going to use that, that notation. So uh, depending on the question, uh, the, you know, some notations are easier to follow. Some notations are more, um, you know, uh, making the notation hard to follow. And so it's totally up to you which notation you, want, uh, you would like to prefer. So I just wanted to give you another. So this is a more... Uh, a sort of a neat uh, way of defining a uh, strategy. Uh, this strategy is a function which maps each type to a strategy from the set of strategies of that player I, obviously. All right, so what is Bayesian Nash equilibrium? It's nothing but a Nash equilibrium of the Bayesian game, all right? So the Bayesian game is given basically by the set of strategies. So instead of writing S1, S2, S3, I just wrote the... Um, Cartesian product of the strategy sets, type, space. So these are spaces. So that means S is nothing but S1 cross S2 cross all the way cross S answer so is the Cartesian product. So S1 is a set, capital S is a space. All right, so the set and space are two different things. Uh, why is that? Well, set doesn't really have, I mean, they may be the same thing, obviously, but set is just, you know, finite or infinite, just one dimensional set. The capital S, however, is an n-dimensional set. All right, so we call it space. T, symmetrically, T1 cross T2 cross all the way up to Tn. So this uh, type space. P is the beliefs, right? You know, how those types are distributed according to what probability. This is given by P. It may be a correlated types, uncorrelated types, depending on the uh, problem or the strategic environment we're analyzing. And finally, the payoff vector. So once you're given this, this is the Bayesian game. Uh, <clears throat> Bayesian Nash equilibrium of this game is the Nash equilibrium of this game. All right, so Bayesian Nash is not something new, in fact. A strategy profile, S star, is Bayesian Nash. Uh, for that means for every player and for every type, remember you have to check best responding thing for each player and for each type of that player. So uh, the <clears throat> SI star TI, so this is the strategy of type I, uh, given that fixing the other's strategy uh, should be a best response, meaning it has to be the expected utility of this thing uh, this, this profile has to be greater than the expected utility of playing some other strategy SI. Again, fixing the others are playing according to this strategy profile. So this inequality should be true for all SI element of capital SI. All right, remember, as player I or type I, you're allowed to choose any strategy in this set. So if any strategy you pick here, the expected utility should be less than or equal to the expected utility of playing SI star TI. If this is the case, then I'm going to call that this is the best response for type I. Well, if this star strategy is the best response for each player and for each type, well, then we actually got one Nash equilibrium. All right. Obviously, there can be a bunch of other Nash equilibria, but this is how we check or verify if something is Nash equilibrium or not. Well, here, obviously, it is important how we write this expected payoff. Okay, so important question is, what is that expected utility, expected payoff? So uh, I'll, let me give you a generic uh, formula for it. Um, because the idea, well, if you get this uh, generic formula, I think... Uh, well, your life is going to be very, very simple, uh, but obviously it's not so easy and straightforward. So try to 
uh, picture this formula every in every exercise you solve all right so that's very very important once you solve an exercise come back to this formula and see how it fits this is how you can really understand this formula and again once you understand this trust me finding Bayesian Nash equilibrium is just piece of cake so how do we write the expected payoff uh, given that player I plays some strategy as I and given that other players are playing according to S star minus I. All right. Well, first of all, this is going to be sum, right? Sum of payoffs multiplied by probabilities. So this is how we calculate the expected utility of a lottery P, remember? So if P is, for example, P1, P2, all the way up to Pn. So what we were doing is now P1 times U1, P2 times U2. So these are the payoffs in each outcome. And these are the probabilities of these events. So plus Pn times Un. So uh, which is equivalent to saying, uh, you know, Pi times Ui. I mean here J, I'm sorry. And obviously J from 1 to N. So here I am summing through uh, different type profiles except player i. So what is t sub minus i? Well, t sub minus i is the type profile vector. So it includes type 1 of player 1, type 2, uh, I'm sorry, type of player 1, type of player 2, type of player i minus 1, i plus 1. So every other player's types except type of player i. All right, so it's not going to be in a part of this vector. All right, why? Well, because it is here. The type I's, uh, player I's type is TI, is on this conditional part. So what is the probability that the other's type is given this, given that player I's type is TI, so this probability. Remember in our previous example, it was sort of independent, one third, one third, one third. So it was, life was very simple there. And so here is this UI, U1, U2 thing. Well. Obviously, as you change this type profile, this payoff will change. All right, so that's, that's very important. Oh, hmm, well, I am sorry because this notation is not 100% true, but now I'm going to make it true, 100%, SI, comma, SI plus 1, star, TI plus 1, comma, dot, 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 comma. Okay, now the payoff of player i given that he is playing si and his opponents are playing s minus i so i just open this now all right so expected utility is expected part comes with you know multiplication of this probability well what about this utility part well utility is depend on player one's strategy player one of type one's strategy player two and his type strategy player type uh, player I minus one and his type, all right? Player I's strategy, which is SI. Player I plus one's as, uh, type, uh, I plus, mm, I'm sorry. Uh, player I plus one and his type and that strategy and so on and so forth. This is the player N and, and the type, uh, his type and his strategy. So as you change this type profile, that means you're changing this T's inside the parentheses and so therefore you automatically change the strategies so there's only one thing that is going to be fixed which is si all right so the thing is this si is fixed as you change this uh, type profile this probability will change this payoff will probably change but here what is changing here is that you're fixing si and you're only changing those strategies simply because you are changing those type profiles. All right, so this is how we calculate the expected payoff, um, where we used it to calculate the best response uh, of uh, a type of a player.